Okay, welcome back everyone. Uh, we're playing Dishonored and we're sleeping right now. Oh, now it's time to wake up. Get up, Corvo. Oh, Greaves Lighting Oil. Or Lightning Oil. Is that always blocked off? I don't think it is. Uh, oops, that wasn't me. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Everything's a little spooky. Flying around. What? There's a boat in the air. Strange gravity. Hello, Corp. Oh. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? Yeah, a little bit. The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the sea. Yeah, that kind of sucks. And you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. I will. For this, I have chosen you and drawn you into the void. That's pretty cool. I like being in the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. Ow! That ow! That really hurts. Did you have to burn it on me? Couldn't you just like, you know, draw it on me with a permanent marker or something? Use this newfound power. My gift to you. That that's just a tattoo. You, Come find you're that kind of person who gives a tattoo as a birthday present. You're terrible. Oh, so now we have our fancy blink power, soup da, and we'll be able to teleport, and it'll be super cool. You cannot save her. 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 And we'll be able to to blink around the world. So the way. So now we have the the magic bar. Uh, or mana bar or whatever and it as you can see it refills so it'll refill on its own but if I use it while it's still refilling it'll take it away so I gotta make sure to, to let it regenerate before it comes back oh the Pendletons did it I already knew that dun 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 But I think here it just refills for you automatically. But that's what you use to to refill it is the fancy mana potions, which I don't think I I ever actually use much in my playthrough or my my first playthrough of the game because I didn't really use the mana very much. That's terrifying. I didn't use the mana much. I really just blinked and used the sea shadows or whatever it was called. I'll show it to you when I can pick my uh, abilities. Yeah, we'll, yeah, we hit that and we'll the middle click button. Same button to use to, to dance around the thing. To pick your weapons or whatever. And we can pick our fancy. Oh, I, I almost fell off. In the days that follow, your trials will be great, Corvo. Wow. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark. In the lonely <coughs> places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. Okay. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. That's because I'm a magician. To help you find these runes, I give you this: the heart of a living thing. This thing is kind of cheaty, I find. My hands. But whatever. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward new things, no matter how they may be. Hidden. Yeah, that's how I find it cheaty. Because you can just, uh. And find another room. You can basically find every rune in the game without having to really look for it. Which, to be fair, uh, it's, it's kind of a big map. The world's pretty big, all the areas are fairly extensive. And it. Even with the heart, there were some places I couldn't actually get to, so. Maybe it's fair in that regards, but uh, some of them are ridiculously easy to find and really just take like five seconds to get to. This place is the end of all things. End of the game. Oh yeah, I forgot if you if you right click. If you right click with the heart, it'll tell you stuff, some fancy stuff. So these are the runes. These are pretty cool. They'll let me uh, upgrade my powers or get new ones, which I was talking about uh, earlier in this episode, I think. 
I don't know, it kind of feels like... Oh no, it was last episode. Last episode I, I talked about it. So, this this is the stuff I was talking about. We got possession. Um, immediately, I'm going to get dark vision because I can see through the walls with this one. Uh, it's a very cool ability, and after this, I'm going to wait until I have three runes and I'm going to upgrade blink because that increases our blink range drastically and really makes things easier. As it has to the others before you. And now I return you to your world. But know that I will be watching with great interest. Wow. Me too. I drop assassination and fall in danger. Wow. I don't think that's how that works. But okay. Ah, I still have that tattoo! That was a crazy night. Oh, oh I have a headache. I knew this wasn't always walled off. I can't even go out here. Ah, wow. Ow. Uh, oh, I broke my leg. Ah. Ooh, a little whiskey. Yum. Oh, hello. Well, let's get down to it. Yeah, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination my foot's falling asleep. Business, but sometimes, good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her really Majesty's clear? line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart. Take them piece apart? Piece by piece. Piece Tonight, by piece. I overseer Campbell <laughs> dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your the overseers annoy me. They're really Campbell ugly looking. a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Okay. Thank you. What are we doing? Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us, and if you manage to find okay. him, give him whatever help you can. So find Martin. He's a master strategist. And this lady is going to talk to us, or we got to talk to this lady. Oh, she talks to us. Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. Hello. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the high No, nope, not going to. That wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me. But my uncle, Jeff Kernow, still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only friend. So we're definitely gonna do this? The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? I think I can. You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession before you became an assassin so what's gonna happen is I'm definitely gonna save that guy because we get the fancy boot upgrade available I think if we do that so just wondering sir if you thought about perhaps saying Piero before venturing in yeah I saw him death. last night Ready to go just give the signal. I don't even have any more money put on my spooky mask Going to the distillery district, which is where a good portion of this game takes place, if I remember correctly. At least this is where I was the most, because I'm bad at this game. And 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 most games, actually. I'm bad at most games. It'll be a rough trip. It used to be to go straight up Clavery Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. The City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up... Oh, I hate those prison. things. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. And there are the real odd birds living on the fringes, like that Granny Rags. They say she's nuts. Granny Rags. I think I remember her. She's pretty cool. I like her. She walks around, and she talks about stuff. Maybe we'll go visit her. Later. Okay, so we gotta be sneaky. I don't really want to use the alleys. I don't like using them.
Yeah, take this guy out. Usually I throw him in the river. Which I'm not going to do. Oh, I wonder... I bet you I know who I killed in that last one as well. I think I threw someone in the river when I knocked them unconscious. Hello. Sorry, I can't help you. I don't know this area well. Oh. Okay. Attention, watchmen. This district is now considered a highly infected area. Residents are to be escorted to adjacent neighborhoods or to the really deportation to the flood. Up here, I do. Remain in position until qualified personnel have completed the removal of infected bodies. There's a bone chart nearby. Where? Oh, Bone Charm. Eh, uh, Bone Charms are kind of lame, I find. I don't really like them as much. The rune is interesting, though. Oops. Well, now we're at full health. That's... Not the worst thing, I guess. But we really need full health. Ugh. And we'll just try to get up here. Yeah, that's the wall of light. There's one right there too, so you can see it better. Um, I don't actually remember how I got past this. I don't think I really ever did get past this without causing a ruckus. Yeah, this stumped me last time. I think... We'll go... Oh my... Blink range isn't that big. This really sucks without much. There isn't much in the way of being able to get over there without having such a, a long blink range. But, I don't think getting through here will help me at all, but getting down here will. So we're gonna do that. Hope no one's over here. There should be a few weepers down here. Why oh, not just a bunch of rats? Oh, what? Why are there like 700 people down here all of a sudden? What, like, an army of people just came downstairs. That seemed unfair. <laughs> yeah, I know how to change the equipped items game. I've done that like six times. Can I get up there? Oh, what's on the other side? I wonder. Nothing. There's absolutely nothing over here. I'm so glad I went over here. There's not even guards over here. Usually there are. Later in the game there are. I don't need to go in there yet. I will later though. Hopefully not everyone in the world follows me down here. That would be helpful. Okay. Hello, rats. Hello, rats. Hello, rats. Hello, rats. Hello, rats. Hello, rats. Ah! Okay. You're not really here. I wish I had possession. That would be helpful. Uh, speaking of helpful, this isn't very helpful at all. Uh, ow. Um, up there is good. Yeah. 
that works. And then we can... What? Okay, that seemed so somewhat unfair. It didn't even let me... There we go. It didn't let me actually do the thing right away. Oh, we could have gotten here from over here. Oh well. What? Oh, god damn it. Oh, now I'm gonna go all the way back to the start. I'm so used to having the light feet, so that like so when I run, no one can hear me. Like I could run right behind someone, and they would they'd have no idea. I can't do that anymore, so I have to be careful about it. I can probably walk up here though. Okay, maybe I'm pushing it just a tiny bit. Please don't see me. Thank you. Hello, rats. I'm just gonna be up here. That's okay with you. Not even the rats know where I am. What? That's something. Okay, and don't run. Just, just walk. So I don't actually know how to use the sewers to get over there. Now that I'm thinking about it. Because I think I might want to. Because none of this is helping me at all. Well, is it on? What? Okay, we're going to save. And we're going to... Do something stupid, maybe. Yeah, okay, I didn't think that was a door. Right. Ow. We're just gonna reload. <laughs> Cause I'm not going back up there. Oops. Fighting me all of a sudden. On, oh, I remember being over here now. I okay. I remember what to do. So you don't go that way. You go this way. I remember this now. Did he cut his head off? Uh, how do I? Yeah, you. Oh yeah, this is the the. Spyglass zoom I was talking about. Oh, yeah, there's no point. I'll just pick this guy up and bring it over here. Is he going to kill those rats? Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. You moron. <laughs> ah, red! And we'll just put this guy here. Dead. Cold as a whaler's cafe. Fifty years old at least. This guy fought for the Empress. Forget his old ass. I can't even remember the Empress. We tagged it plain. Under Clavering Street is ours. Sorry, I had to wipe my nose. I was gonna look at this Come guy. Come on. What's the take? Twenty. Plus two elixir. Look 20 like coins. To me. Look here. It's 20. It's five each, counting boo. You want me to check your pockets? Okay, we're just gonna leave. Please tell me it's a a rune. 
Uh, oh, yes, there's a rune up there. Oh, I remember this rune, actually. Oops. How old did you say your sister was? Uh, we're gonna... I'm gonna save here. One second. One second. One second. One second. Okay. Sorry. This guy's still upset. But we're gonna go in here and we're gonna... What? Okay. Thank you for not working. Game. I'm gonna go back up here. Yeah, I know it's there. I don't need to. Where'd this guy go? He's gone. Hey. Okay. Try your ration elixir from. Okay, so we're gonna. I have one rune, so I need two more. We can upgrade our blink. Cause that's definitely what gets used the most in this game. Good idea now. Oh, damn it. That's okay. Might give us a better strategic position overall, anyway. Be able to get over here. Huh? That's a good thing I saved. I knew that was going to happen. I don't know why I didn't just use my boink and get all the way over here. Okay, I think we've made it. Woo! I think... Yeah, I think we'll end the episode here, um, and when we continue, we'll we'll go. And, well, we'll we'll go talk to Overseer Martin, or we'll take this guy out first, and then we'll. Uh, I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way uh, Yeah, we'll take this guy out. Or is it the itching? And we'll talk to Overseer Martin in the next episode. What a sight you are. Now. I know who you so are we'll, and what you're here to do, and I can help. Unlock or, or I'll see you guys. A a couple of days. Oh, oh, I want, I want a drink. Avoid, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Wow. Well, well, see you guys next time. Goodbye.